M4A2 Sherman versus Type 95 Hargo. World War II marked the dawn of tanks, a time when armored warfare ascended to prominence in global military conflicts. Within this transformative period, the M4A2 Sherman tank and the Japanese Type 95 Hargo tank stood as noteworthy examples of ingenuity and purpose. The M4A2 Sherman, reflecting the United States' commitment to versatility, was prepared for mass production and adapted to various combat scenarios. Meanwhile, Japan's Type 95 Hargo showcased an emphasis on speed and maneuverability, tailor-made for the specific strategies employed by the Japanese military. Together, these tanks participated in numerous critical battles, each playing a unique role in their respective armies' overall war efforts. In this video, you will take a closer look at these legendary tanks, exploring their design, history, and the lasting impact they left on the world of armored warfare. The development of the M4A2 Sherman and Type 95 Hargo tanks was influenced by the specific needs and technological advances of respective nations during the interwar period. The United States, recognizing the importance of armored warfare, embarked on designing the M4A2 Sherman as a versatile medium tank to replace its older models. Introduced in 1942, it saw service in various fronts including Europe and the Pacific. On the other hand, Japan's focus on maneuverable warfare led to the creation of the Type 95 Hargo, introduced much earlier in 1935. This light tank was tailored for Japan's engagements in China and the Pacific Islands, where agility was paramount. The contrast between these two tanks reflects the different political ideologies and military strategies of the US and Japan, as well as the evolving technological landscape that shaped the world of tanks during this period. Now that we've set the stage with a brief overview of the historical context, it's time to dive into the heart of what made these tanks truly remarkable. Starting with the M4A2 Sherman, this tank was 19 feet in length and 8.7 feet in width. It was a heavyweight, coming in at approximately 33 tonnes. Its armour was built to withstand battle ranging from 25mm to 75mm thick. In terms of firepower, the Sherman was well equipped, boasting a 75mm M3 L40 gun, a 50 cal machine gun and two 30 cal machine guns. Under the hood, it had a General Motors twin diesel engine capable of generating 375 horsepower and reaching speeds of 25 to 30 miles per hour. The Japanese Type 95 Hargo, by comparison, was designed with different priorities. Measuring 14 feet in length and 6.8 feet wide, it was significantly smaller and lighter, weighing only 7.4 tons. Its armor was also thinner, ranging from 6mm to 16mm. This was a choice to emphasize speed and agility, rather than heavy protection. Its armaments included a a 37mm main gun and two 7.7mm machine guns, suited more for infantry support. Its engine, a Mitsubishi air-cooled diesel, produced 120 horsepower, allowing for similar top speeds to the Sherman. Looking at the specification, it becomes clear how each tank was tailored to its respective military's needs. The Sherman's armour and armament made it a formidable presence on various battlefields, capable of taking on different roles. Its engine was built to provide reliable power, reflecting the American focus on robust engineering. The Type 95 Hargo, on the other hand, shows Japan's approach to tank design, prioritizing speed and maneuverability. Its lighter weight allowed it to navigate terrains where heavier tanks might struggle. The choice of a smaller main gun and machine guns indicates a focus on specific combat scenarios, supporting infantry, rather than engaging other armoured targets. Each detail of these tanks, from the thickness of their armour to the types of guns they carried, was a deliberate choice. These decisions were influenced by factors such as the terrain where they were expected to fight, the opponents they'd face, and the overall military strategies of the United States and Japan during World War II. The manufacturing and production of these tanks showcase the varied approaches taken by both sides. 
the M4A2 Sherman was primarily manufactured in factories located across the United States, with several companies contributing to its production. The manufacturing process was streamlined, utilizing standardized parts and assembly lines. Innovative welding techniques were employed, and high-quality steel was the primary material used in its construction. By the time production ended, over 8,000 M4A2 Sherman tanks had been built, highlighting the impressive industrial capacity of the United States. In contrast, the Japanese Type 95 Hargo was produced in smaller numbers, with around 2,300 units manufactured. The production facilities were scattered across Japan, with Mitsubishi Heavy Industries being a key player. The manufacturing process was more traditional, with some parts handcrafted and the use of varied materials. Unlike the mass production approach of the Sherman, the Hargo's construction faced challenges such as material shortages and a lack of standardized parts. The production locations for the M4A2 Sherman were spread across the industrial centers of the US, reflecting the country's vast manufacturing capabilities. In contrast, the Type 95 Hargo production was more localized within Japan, reflecting the nation's specific industrial capacity and resources. Transitioning from the factories to the front lines, let's examine how the M4A2 Sherman and the Type 95 Hargo tanks were put into action. The M4A2 Sherman served in various capacities for American forces. Its balanced design allowed it to support infantry assaults, act as a mobile artillery piece, and even take on enemy tanks. Coordinated tactics with other arms of the military made the Sherman a valuable asset in battles like the Normandy invasion and the Battle of the Bulge. Yet, despite his successes, it did face challenges in confronting more heavily armored German tanks, and its relatively high profile at times became a disadvantage. The Type 95 Hargo was often utilized for specific roles by the Japanese military. Its design allowed for effective infantry support and reconnaissance missions, especially in the challenging terrains of China and the Pacific Islands. Its ability to navigate unique battlefield conditions gave it a specialized role in Japanese tactical planning. However, its limitations became increasingly evident as it faced well-armed and armored opponents, leading to vulnerabilities in later stages of the war. Both tanks had defining moments of triumph. The Sherman was key in pushing through German lines in various European battles, while the Hargo's agility contributed to early Japanese successes in Southeast Asia. Their tactical employment was a direct result of careful planning and an understanding of their unique attributes. Moving on to the human aspect of these war machines, let's turn our attention to the men who manned the M4A2 Sherman and the Type 95 Hargo tanks, focusing on their experiences, training, and conditions inside these steel giants. The M4A2 Sherman was known for its relatively spacious interior, accommodating a five-man crew consisting of a commander, gunner, loader, driver, and co-driver. Though far from comfortable, the Sherman provided better living conditions compared to many other tanks of the era. Training for Sherman crews was extensive, covering not only the operation of the tank, but also maintenance, gunnery skills, and tactics. Some Sherman crew members have recalled the camaraderie and the bond they shared within the confined space, along with the constant challenges of heat, noise, and the ever-present danger. The Japanese Type 95 Hargo offered a more cramped environment for its three-man crew, comprising a commander, driver, and gunner, the limited space and less advanced ergonomics added to the strain of operating the tank. Japanese tank crews underwent rigorous training, focusing on maneuverability and coordinated tactics with infantry. Testimonials from Hargo crew members often highlight the physical hardships endured, coupled with a strong sense of duty and discipline. The experience of crew members in these tanks provide an intimate glimpse into the daily life of a tanker during World War II. Their training, hardships, and personal reflections reveal the human element that drove these mechanical behemoths, adding depth to our understanding of these iconic armored vehicles. 
The M4A2 Sherman, with its balanced design and versatile role in various combat scenarios, influenced future tank development, particularly in the areas of crew ergonomics and modular design. Its legacy can be traced in subsequent generations of tanks that continue to prioritize adaptability and coordination with other military branches. In popular culture, the Shermans become an emblem of World War II, appearing in numerous films such as Fury, where its role is central to the narrative. Museums across the world host preserved Sherman tanks, attracting enthusiasts and historians alike. Our second tank, the Type 95 Hargo, though perhaps less celebrated, also left a mark on tank design, particularly in terms of light tank development and the integration of tanks with infantry tactics. It remains a symbol of Japan's military innovation during the war and has been featured in various documentaries and historical exhibits. Some Hargo tanks can still be found in museums, serving as reminders of a unique approach to armoured warfare. World War II looms as a profound turning point in the human saga, an all-consuming conflict that altered the destiny of nations, redefined core beliefs, and forever changed the very carriage of battle and strife. It was a war marked by technological advancement, strategic depth, and a scale of human endeavour previously unseen. During this colossal confrontation, the crucial function of tanks unveiled itself with remarkable clearness. As the war unfolded, tanks became central to military strategies, shaping battles and altering the dynamics of ground warfare. From the deserts of North Africa to the snow-covered fields of Russia, tanks were used in offensive assaults, defensive stands and intricate manoeuvres, proving their worth in various terrains and conditions. The M4A2 Sherman and the Type 95 Hargo were just two examples among many, but through the lens of their design, use and legacy, the vital role of tanks in modern warfare is brought into sharp focus. If you found this exploration of World War II tanks fascinating, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more in-depth analysis of history's most intriguing topics. Share your thoughts in the comments below about the M4A2 Sherman and Type 95 Hargo tanks or any other topics you'd like us to cover. Click the notification bell to stay updated on our latest releases and join us on this journey through history. Thank you for watching.